Kanye spoke the truth. And he's the first black billionaire to call a spade a spade since Michael Jackson. I commend Kanye for speaking truth, the power, and being unapologetic enough to suffer the consequences boldly and proudly. Shout out to Kanye. I'm disappointed that so many other prominent black men in the entertainment industry did not support and stand by him, but out of jealousy and fear of the power structure, out of jealousy and fear of the power structure, they would not back Kanye. Instead, they condemned Kanye in order to earn a seat at their master's table. Instead of backing Kanye, they condemned Kanye in order to earn a seat at the master's table. They know Kanye told the truth. But because their money is tied up in the power structure. Because their money is tied up in the power structure. They helped the power structure hang Kanye out to dry. With that being said. I need Kanye to be a little bit more consistent in his political position. He's very bipolar in his political conversation. Kanye West is very bipolar in his political position. He's a political schizophrenic. And what do I mean when I say brother Kanye is a political schizophrenic? Someone who's schizophrenic has a split mind. Almost a split personality. One day he's talking about he needs to stand up for his people. The next day he's praising Donald Trump. One day he's talking about I need to stand up for my people. The next day he's praising Donald Trump. One day he's talking about my black children being exposed to non-black people, but then he's on a date with a new snow bunny. But then he's on a date with a new snow bunny. But then he's on a date with a new snow bunny. That's what you call politically schizophrenic behavior. That's what you call bipolar black power. You want to struggle black, but you want to date white. One minute, Kanye is talking about these exploitative contracts that the white power structure has all the black entertainers under. And the next day, he's going to help Candace Owens' white husband open up a social media company. Come on, Kanye. Come on, Kanye. How are you going to talk about exploitative contracts and then the next minute, you're going to help and help Candace Owens is the number one female Negro peon in the country. You're going to help her white husband start a social media company. Come on, Kanye. Come on, Kanye. So I need Kanye to make up his mind. Where does he stand? But I'm going to tell you what my big fear is regarding Kanye West. I'm going to tell you what my big fear is regarding Kanye West. I have a bad feeling that Kanye is doing all of this talking because he ain't built nothing for black people yet. He's doing all of this talking because he ain't built nothing for black people yet. And at the end of the day, he's going to go right back to being the black fish in a sea of white. He's going to go back to being the black fish 
in the sea of white. I have no belief whatsoever that Kanye West is interested in a black agenda. Kanye is a multiculturalist. He talks black, but he lives extremely white. He talks black, but he lives exceedingly white. So I am not convinced that Kanye West has an agenda to help our community. I think all of this is smoke and mirrors so he can get free of those contracts. And he's now free of those contracts. And he's going to create. What is he calling it? The Yaney verse, the Jesus verse, the Kanye verse. And it's going to be a multicultural situation. Kanye wants to create his own multicultural community. And guess what? More power to him. More power to the Snow Bunny universe that Kanye wants to build. But that Snow Bunny universe ain't helping black America. That Snow Bunny universe ain't saving black boys. That Snow Bunny universe ain't doing nothing about black homelessness. That Snow Bunny universe ain't doing nothing about police brutality. I think Kanye is playing everybody in the interest of Kanye. I'm just being honest. I'm just being honest. I'm just being honest. I think Kanye is playing everybody for the purposes of Kanye. He ain't thinking about no black folks. He is not thinking about no black folks, ain't been thinking about no black folks, and ain't going to start thinking about no black folks. Everything I hear him talk about is multicultural. Now, let me talk about the election for a minute. You got to read a newspaper a day. You got to read a newspaper a day. You got to read a newspaper a day so you can stay educated about what's going on. You got to if you're not consuming, if you don't know what's happening in your world, not your country, that's not big enough. Not your city, that's not big enough. Not your county, that's not big enough. Not your state. That's not big enough. You got to know what's happening in the world. I want to know what's happening in my state, my city, but also my world, brothers and sisters. November the 8th, we have a full lunar eclipse, Scorpio season. Election day, there will be a full lunar eclipse on election day, no coincidence, no coincidence, no coincidence. Hit the cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. Hit the cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. Hit the PayPal, FDMG Academy. Hit the PayPal, FDMG Academy. This election coming up is the most irrelevant election Black people have seen in over 50 years. You have never seen an election ever in your life where not a single candidate for governor, not a single candidate for mayor, not a single candidate for state rep, not a single candidate for state senator, not a single candidate for council, not a single candidate for U.S. Senate, not a single candidate for the House of Representatives, not a single candidate for the U.S. Congress is pushing anything for African people in America. Not one of them. Not one of them. 435 congressional seats will be up for grabs. 435 congressional seats will be up for grabs. 400 and 35 congressional seats will be up for grabs and not a single candidate is talking anything for black people. Don't let them use Kanye West as a distraction away from the fact the Democrats have nothing on the table for black people. Don't let them use Kanye West as a media distraction away from the fact the Democrats have nothing on the table for black people. Don't let them use Kanye West and Kyrie Irving. Don't let them use Kanye West 
and Kyrie Irving as a distraction in the media to take your focus off the fact that the Democrats have nothing on the table for African people November the 8th. King Kong is back, brothers and sisters. It is pan-Africanism or perish. It is Garveyism or get back. It is Prince of Pan-Africanism forever. <laughs>